Hi guys. If you want to be able to solve all of these great cuboids, ranging from a simple little 2x2x3 two by two by tower, all the way through things like the 3x3x4, three by three by and all the way up to the legendary 3x4x5, <laughs> by by and everything in between. Then you need to start out simply with this. This is the 3x3x2, three by three by often also called the domino cube because when the first ones were made um, they had like domino numbers on the top so it's often called that but these days you didn't generally find them with coloured stickers like this and yeah this is what you need to do to to be able to solve all these other cuboids this is where you have to start the humble little domino cube okay so before we start actually solving this just need to go over a couple of things first of all you may well notice that if you haven't already that you can only turn this side by 180 degrees the two by um, three sides can only ever turn by 180 degrees you can't turn them 90 degrees like you want on a regular Rubik's Cube the puzzle just won't turn um, so wherever, wherever you turn these sides it's always going to be two turns as compared to a Rubik's Cube um, this top face and this bottom face can have to turn by 90 degrees just like any other Rubik's Cube When you're scrambling the cube, obviously you want to make sure you can get as good a scramble as you possibly can. Um, obviously you don't want to make the puzzle too easy for yourself. Um, so just to make sure you do scramble it properly, make sure you turn all the sides and remember to turn this centre layer as well um, to give yourself as good a scramble as you can and get it all mixed up. Um, and then we'll start the solve. Um, this is quite a simple puzzle to solve. There are a few algorithms you need to learn. Um, the more complicated ones I will give you a couple of ideas to try and make them a bit easier to memorise. They're not too difficult as compared to some of the larger puzzles so you shouldn't have too much problem with a little bit of practice. Okay so that looks pretty well scrambled. Now the strategy we're going to employ we're going to start off by making a white cross on, on this layer we'll fill in those corners and then we'll do the top layer so start off now my cube if you haven't already looked at your own you'll probably find that it goes red white blue clockwise around one face so you need to know where to put these centers so find a corner with red white and blue on which is this one here as you can see on this one red white blue goes around that corner clockwise so you will have a face of red white and blue clockwise from each other to solve so I'm going to start by making this piece my red side just turn it to the position on the bottom opposite where it needs to go and twist this side 180 degrees to put it into place so we've got red white blue um, I think we've got lucky here because orange already happens to be opposite red which is where it goes and green happens to be opposite blue which again is where it goes and now we're going to start putting the corners into place now this is very simple all you do is locate we'll start off with the red white blue corner since that's the one I've been talking about which is here it needs to go in this place here so all you do is turn it to the position above where it needs to go and do the following algorithm now note when I say R on a regular Rubik's Cube that would be a 90 degree turn but because you can't do 90 degree turns on this that means a 180 degree turn I will I won't say R2 because it's obvious that you can only do 180 degree turns on this cube so it just saved my waste my breath saying two all the time when you don't need me to so to place this corner from above the position it needs to be in into its position it's a simple matter of doing R U R U prime R and as you can see that's put it into the place where it goes now I'm just going to bring that back out a minute because I want to show you I want you to see exactly why this works what happens is 
you turn it when you do the first star you turn it out of the way to this bottom corner and you bring it up the middle that is going next to to the top face you bring that middle across to the left so that it's in front of you so that when you next turn the R this the red white and blue piece is next to the middle that it needs to go next to you then the, then do the U prime and then your final R and that puts them back in their position where they need to go so let's find another colour that needs to go in we want red white and green for this corner and there it is so again we do the same algorithm R U R U prime R and that's put the red white and green piece in where it needs to go so we just continue this for the other two corners um, where white green and orange is next to where it needs to go so once again we do the same algorithm again R U R U prime R and for the final corner that's already above where it needs to go so R U R U prime R and there you have it that's the first layer done already it's as simple as that now moving on we're going to do the top layer now there's a couple of different situations you can come across for we're going to do the corners first um, now what you've got here you can see I've got what they call headlights you've got two colours the same sandwiched in a, any centre at all it can be an orange one or any of the other colours as long as you've got two corner colours the same facing the same direction they call this headlights all you do in this situation as long as that's the only pair you've got you need to swap these two corners over and for that we use the following algorithm R U R U prime R U prime D R U prime R U R now as you can see we've now got pairs of corners all the way around the cube uh, if you just line them up with the colours that they go with you see all the corners are now solved now I'm just going to undo that algorithm that I've just done just to explain a couple of things further um, now I've done it with different colours I've, I've left myself with the red headlights here but I just want you to give you a couple of pointers for trying to memorise that algorithm first of all notice that the very first half of it is exactly the same as the one we did for placing the bottom corners which is R U R U prime R so that part you already should know by now the second section where I did U prime D is essentially the same as just turning the cube like this but once you start getting towards doing these larger order puzzles you need to do it the way I've just said with the U prime and D otherwise you cause yourself problems so it's worth getting used to memorizing that part of the algorithm now um, so once you've done that is then it's kind of opposite what we did with the um, the first half so it's R U prime R U R So just to go over that one last time I've put it back in that situation where you've got one set of headlights and two that need swapping it's the algorithm we already know R U R U prime R then we do that little U D sorry U prime D and then we do R U prime R U R and that solves all our corners for us okay so the other situation you can get with the corners is this where you haven't got any headlights at all you always going to have one corner you can put into place but then none of the other three will ever be in place or you're going to have um, well this I have actually got two opposites in place um, but this is exactly the same situation as if you can't get any others in place at all now what you're going to need to do as you can see this got a green red here if I put the red blue in place I've got green red over here which needs to come over here so all I've got to do is do a corner swap there and then a corner swap there so I'm doing it from there to there 
and then from there to there. So it's just the algorithm we've already performed, but we're doing it twice. And what you'll generally find is, once you've performed it once, if you haven't got headlights, you then have to turn it, do it two more times, or if you do then get headlights, then you have to do it just once more. So yeah, we'll put the, the two corners we want to swap on the right hand side and perform the algorithm we've just been doing. So it's R, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, D, R, U prime, R, U, R. Now as you can see, that's given us a pair of orange headlights here. We put those to this side because the corners we want to swap are on the right hand side again. We always have them on the right hand side, the ones we want to swap over. And this will put our final two corners in place. So just perform the same algorithm one more time. R, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, D, R, U, R. Sorry, <laughs> got that wrong, didn't I? It's R, U prime, R, U, R. And as you can see, that's put all, all our corners in place. With a little bit of tri trial and error, you'll get used to doing that kind of thing. And now all that we're meant to do are the centres of the top layer. Now in this, you're going to have a, one of, I think it's four possible situations, but there's only two different things you need to remember. There are two things you're going to need to do. You can either swap to opposite edges or swap to adjacent edges. And with combinations of these, you're always going to be able to solve these four edges. Now, as it turns out in this situation, I've actually got one of each, so that's worked out quite well. So, because I've got three pieces that need to be done and the, the green one is already in place. So what I need to do is swap the red one to the red face, which is opposite. Now, this is a very simple algorithm for this. It's just R, U2, R, U2, R, U2. And that's it, simple as that. The red is in place and we're left with just the blue and orange to solve. Now, this is probably the longest algorithm you're going to need to try and remember for this um, for solving this puzzle, the one to swap two adjacent edges. Um, so I'll go over it a few times and I'll give you a tip to try and help remember the algorithm. So I'll go over the algorithm first. It's R, U, R, U, R, U2, R, U2, R, U, R, U prime, R. And that's it, that's the, the puzzle solved. Now, I'll go over that again. If I do exactly the same algorithm again, it will swap those pieces back to where they were. So it's R, U, R, U, R, U2, R, U2, R, U, R, U prime, R. Now the easy way to remember this algorithm, I've found, is to remember to break it down into sections first of all you're doing r u twice so r u and then you're doing r u2 twice so r u2 r u2 and then all we're doing is our um original algorithm for putting the top corner into the bottom layer like we did at the beginning of the solve so it's r u r u prime R. So if you break it down like that, I don't think it's too difficult to remember. Um, all the algorithms for solving the puzzle will be in the description of the video. Um, so please check that out and subscribe to my channel for many more tutorials coming up on all these puzzles you've seen around here and more. And hopefully you'll be like me and end up enjoying solving things like these on a regular basis. Getting a real challenge out of them when you first start them, but actually being able to solve them when the time comes. So check those videos out when they come, um, hope you enjoy the video, hope it's useful to you and please check back again, see you next time, bye.